cold weather not having quarter rail today? Yeah, you know, it's always tough when you don't have um, your, some of your guys out there. And CP has been such a big part of, of what we've done offensively. Uh, but we just didn't, you know, the, the, the rest of the group, we didn't do enough to, you know, uh, be as productive as we need it to be. And so, um, you know, it's always tough when guys are out, but it's never an excuse. you got to find a way to get the job done. And uh, it wasn't a good enough effort from us on the offensive side of the ball. What did they do to take away Kyle Pitts? Uh, Toe's fine. Um, I think it'll be okay moving forward. Um, you know, I, I I thought they had a plan coming in uh, to try and disrupt, you know, some of the things that, that Kyle uh, does for us. Um, you know, whether it be dropping guys into zone underneath, um, some of the crossing routes that he had, some of the corner routes that he had, uh, and then trying to jam and reroute at the line of scrimmage. And so... Um, credit to them. I thought New England, you know, had a good plan and, and played very well. Uh, we hadn't seen a double-digit hit uh, games uh, this year. What, what happened up front to, to lead to the four sacks and uh, I believe 12 quarterback hits today? Yeah, I, I think that's one of the things we've got to watch film. Um, you know, again, I thought they, they did a good job, you know, defensively of, of trying to create internal pressure and, and stressing some of the things that we do. Uh, and we certainly, you know, have to be better than we were today. But credit to them. I thought they played well. How much did the toe impact your ability to, to throw the ball and to maybe move around a little bit in the pocket? You know, I, I don't think it impacted throwing, um, you know, and, and I thought I moved fine. So I, I didn't think it impacted it too much. There, there was a thought from CJ Kelly on the sideline. Forget exactly what, after which drive it was, where it seemed like you got in on Parker Hess a little bit and they were getting into your line. Say, you know, start doing what we're coached, or at least that's what it looked like you were saying. Is that accurate? And also, what were you trying to, what message were you trying to really deliver to the entirety of the offense? Yeah, just get guys going, you know, try, try and create a spark. I think, um, you know, you're always, when it's not going that way, you're always trying to find the thing that's going to connect and, and click and get guys going. And, um, you know, it was, it was just saying basically, you know, we don't, we don't need to do anything extra. We've got to do what we're coached to do and, and do it really well. And, um, you know, across the board, you know, myself included, we, we all just didn't do enough, you know, didn't do a good enough job of that the entire night. Why, why is this offense struggling to level it is really the last two, two games? Yeah, it's been a tough, it's been a tough five days offensively. You know, I think um, it's just across the board. We haven't thrown the ball well enough. We haven't run the ball well enough. Um, I've, I've got to be more accurate. Um, We've all got to, you know, be more effective with what we're asked to do uh, in terms of the game plan. So um, we got a nice little extra few days uh, to take a deep dive into, you know, what we can do better moving forward. And, um, you know, we certainly got to take advantage of that. Of the things that you're kind of listing, is there maybe one or two things that when it comes to the offensive struggle that you kind of look at as this is what I feel like is the most disappointing? Well, it's... Uh, Lack of production, you know, um, whatever that is caused by, you know, that's that's the most disappointing. I think our defense did a nice job keeping us in the game uh, the entire night, uh, even you know, well into the fourth quarter, you know, making it um, two score game. We had chances, and uh, we've got to find a way. We just, you know, whatever it is, whatever we have to do moving forward, we have got to find a way to be more productive than we've been. Arthur was talking about. He kept saying, we're going to fix it, we're going to fix it. That was kind of his message post-game. I mean, what kind of gives you the confidence in what he's saying that it is something that can't be done? Well, there's also, you know, evidence throughout the year of, of what it can look like. And, um, you know, that's what you have to look at. And, and I know the last two games, the last five days have been tough. You know, I mean, there's, there's no question about it. It's been frustrating. Um, you know, but there has been production and good play throughout the year. And uh, we got to find a way to get back to that. When you have consecutive games like this, what's the level of concern of things jumping the rails a little bit or just, you know, the mental, fragile nature of maybe some guys? Yeah, I think, I think that's where you got to have, you know, that's, that's where good leadership comes in, um, you know, keeping the belief there. Um, there's seven games to go. And, um, you know, certainly everything's still right in front of us, but it's got to get corrected. And, 
you know, that's, that's the biggest thing I think in these type of situations. I've been through all kinds of different situations throughout my career, and I think good leadership, um, you know, and, and holding people accountable, you know, making sure that we're getting the things corrected that we need to get corrected, you know, those two things I think will be key. I don't know. I mean, I, I feel I felt good enough to go in the second half, so I think I'll be good to go. Matt, this is obviously your first time um, facing the Patriots without Tom Brady on the other side. What were your impressions of Mac Jones tonight? I thought Mac did a nice job. Um, you know, he's he's done a great job all year. He's been really efficient, accurate with the football, made some great throws tonight. Um, you know, into, into some tough coverage. I thought he played well, and I think he's played well most of the year. Like you were going to what, what did you see or not see there? Yeah, I, it was man-to-man coverage. Um, you know, it, trying to lay it out in front, and it, it felt like there was a lot of contact, but um, we didn't get a call there. So it, it was um, trying to put it over the top, give him a chance to run and, and make a play, and, um, you know, didn't work out. Belichick's had a lot of success for the years. So he and on the other team's uh, best weapon in trying to, you know, neutralize that guy. And when you didn't have Cordell, did you enter the game knowing that they were going to focus on fits and you're going to have to find other ways to, to get it going? Yeah, you know, ha- having gone against them and you know watched them in the past, that's that's one of the things that they're very good at. And um, you know, when CP wasn't able to go tonight, uh, when we found out, you know, you obviously come into it saying, okay, you know, they're, they're probably next in line would be Kyle and um, he still did some good things for us for sure um, you know but credit to them I, I really you know think they played well yeah, Matt, how tough is it well when the run game production is so low yeah it, it <clears throat> for sure you know it, it's one of the things we got to do better uh, we got to find a way it sets up so many things you know it slows down pass rush it helps you set up some of the play action pass that you're doing but it also wears out, you know, a defense when you run the ball effectively, and um, that's certainly something we'd like to do better. On the fourth and one in the red, or, yeah, it's fourth and one, fourth and eight in the red zone. How much agency do you have to decide to sneak, and was there any thought of that versus handing the ball off the target? We had two chances, you know, the third and one and fourth and one, and uh, you know, we feel like. Art, Art felt like, you know, both those calls were going to be successful for us. But in terms of sneak front, I mean, they, they were kind of loaded on the inside. So it, it wouldn't, I don't think it would have made a difference. Anything else? All right. Thank you. Thank you.